Hey, it's uh, morning two, Thursday, uh, January 6th. I'm uh, a couple of miles, not even a couple of miles, above the South Upper Truckee Trailhead. And uh, it was real cold last night. I'm adjusting to the cold much better. But uh, let's see, I'm thirsty, but I don't want to drink water, but I'm forcing myself to drink. I'm not hungry at all. That dinner last night screwed my stomach up, and uh, so I'm forcing myself to eat. Got to eat, got to drink. Okay, you got to do it. There's no two ways about it. So uh, I slept really well. I it brought uh, Mark Twain Life on the Mississippi and did a couple hours of reading. So I, you know, was moving about in the sack, and I had something to do, and uh, so everything was copacetic. It still hasn't hit 20 degrees here. I've had a slow morning, much quicker than, see I'm getting uh, used to the cold and I'm operating better in the cold now, but it's still a slow morning. Um, no big deal. So observe your body. Observe how your body's responding to the environment here and make sure you compensate for that. If you don't compensate for that, these things are going to build up. So like for instance, last night I wasn't really cold. About 3 or 4 in the morning probably it got pretty cold and uh, you know maybe later but it really got cold and I was fine and I still am one layer short you know I didn't have all my layers on but I could feel the cold you know so watch everything observe see how you're responding to it and and see you know how much layering you have left so when things change during the day and the night uh, observe what layer, layer what level of layering you're wearing and then uh, realize how much cushion you have okay so uh, I'm going to hit the trail here. Now here comes the hard part. Here comes the part I really don't like. Um, <laughs> none of us will like this. Okay, I'm in my, my uh, camp fleece. I've got my little down booties. Woohoo! Um, there's my boots ready to go. i got my gaiters ready to go. Food here. I just forced myself to drink water. I melted a bunch of water. And I've been forcing myself to drink it. Um, what else? So now i got to switch. Now it's uh, from, I got, well, let's see, one, two, three layers here, I got to go down to two, I got, uh, I got, I got one, two, three, four layers here, I've got a bunch of layers here, all of this has to come off, layers got to go, I got to freeze until I start generating heat going up the hill, so, uh, yeah, suck time, see you guys. Hey guys, um, let's see if I can give a little scouting report here. Um, I just spent my third night. I'm right by Round Lake here. Um, coming in the first day, uh, I was pretty uh, running pretty behind. Didn't get to the trailhead until real late, and my stomach was feeling a little e uneasy. And so I ended up not eating, and I didn't eat very much breakfast getting started on my first day off the trailhead. Now, I camped at the trailhead, which was really cold. I mean, you know, brutally cold, and I got caught by the dew. So then the first day hiking, heading in, I didn't seem to have any appetite. Um, I ate very little, and ate no lunch. And then uh, at dinner time, I tried to eat that uh, backpacker's pantry dinner, and that didn't work. And I ate about half of it, then I didn't eat hardly any breakfast the next day, no lunch, and no dinner. Okay? So, let's see. Three nights on the trail now, and I've eaten like a half a dinner and a half a breakfast. My backpack is still hella heavy. I haven't eaten anything, and uh, yesterday my stomach was just killing me all day. Uh, trying to climb up this monster hill in the snow, and my stomach was just thrashed. So, I figure I'm weakening because I'm not eating real good, and I figure, well, I'm not drinking water either. Um, well, you know, I'm forcing myself to eat and drink, so I'm not crucial, but it looks like I'm getting a little colder and getting a little weaker. So, uh, I'm turning around. I'm in bad condition. I'm not holding a whole lot of strength. I'm cold vulnerable. Um, I feel a little better. I'm hoping I can eat and drink today. Jesus Christ, what a pain in the ass this is. Um, yeah, that's that's condition status. So, my gear's working well. I'm working my gear well. I'm just not freaking working well, okay? So, anticipate these kind of things. Check yourself. You know, don't just check your gear and make sure your gear's all cool and you can use your gear and stuff. Make sure you're working good, okay? 
So uh, here's one hurt now. <laughs> I'm at like 8,000 feet. It got, I don't even know what it got to last night, probably 7, 10 degrees. Oh yeah, and because I'm cold sensitive, my feet got freaking cold last night. I had to strip off my down coat, pop my down coat, put my legs in the sleeves of my down coat, zip up my down coat around my legs. I got down booties on my freaking feet. But I'm cold sensitive because I'm not eating good and I'm not drinking good, so just anticipate that kind of stuff's going to happen, alright? And, uh... Here's where I am. You know, I ain't getting out until shit's warm. Now, uh, I just spent my uh, third night here. I'm just uh, a little bit below 8,000 feet, but it's only going to be my third day because uh, I got into the trailhead real late, as I've mentioned earlier. Uh, so uh, I wanted to tune you into some decision making I'm doing here. <clears throat> Since I started, I started late and was thrown behind and haven't been eating and haven't been drinking appropriately. That makes me uh, much more vulnerable to exhaustion, cold, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, man, I'm turning around. I'm beat. I'm cold. I'm not eating good. All yesterday on the trail, I felt like I was going to puke the whole day. I actually did puke a little bit, but no, not much. Uh, I haven't taken a shit for three, four days or some shit now. I have no idea. I am thrashed. <laughs> so, uh, pretty, I'm still within my limits, you know, but... I'm getting close, so that tells me it's a good time to turn around. I got a trail back, even though I share it with a skier who I would not go the way a skier would go naturally. Different backcountry people have different uses. Um, so yeah, I am beat, man. I mean, I'm telling you, uh, not eating and doing about 2,000 feet elevation through snow yesterday is just, uh, that's been... That's been the killer. So, uh, yeah, and I'm real vulnerable to cold. And I'm totally exhausted. Not eating and not drinking water has just, uh, let me just say, drained me to the core, to the very quick. So, I, and I know this, you know. I, I'm still holding good technique. My practices are still good. I'm staying warm and shit. But it's on. I wish I could take a shit and eat fucking some food. But, I, you know, it's not food poisoning. Here's the good thing. Yesterday on the way up, I was like, oh, my God, if this is food poisoning, I'm fucked. So I actually made some bad decisions. So think about this. If you're coming up the mountain, and you're like, you ate something outside, food poisoning takes two to three days. So, you know, I'm thinking, oh, my God, if I'm getting food poisoning, I'm going to start shitting and puking, and I'm not going to be able to deal. You know, it's just too cold. But it's not food poisoning, so God knows, maybe mild touch of food poisoning, stomach flu, who knows. Actually, it might just be acclimation. It could just be acclimation and beating the heck out of myself. So uh, those are the considerations uh, after night three here. I'm turning around for prudence and safety's sake. All out. This is a trail that somebody skied down. I picked it up coming from South Upper Truckee and I walked it in. Now I'm walking it back out and uh, widening it out more sufficiently for a backpacker or I should say a snowpacker. Um, I just wanted to say a few words about uh, backpacking in the snow. It's really difficult. Um, the equipment's very heavy. The conditions now, this is January and we got ice cold powder snow, which is uh, nice in a way because it's keeping me pretty dry, fairly dry, except for the dew when I got dew on. But uh, very difficult to travel through. So uh, you really have to uh, adjust your your trip and the parameters to uh, the conditions. But I would uh, 
definitely say that flexibility, abdominal strength, do your sit-ups, flexibility, be very flexible, um, and endurance. As always for a backpacker, endurance. Because when you're uh, snowshoeing, you're not just going to have the normal altitude and the load. You're going to have extra load and uh, extra difficult conditions to train to get through. Oops, a little snowfall. Alright, so I just want to say a few words about snowshoeing. Uh, this is the view from Night Forest campsite. I'm cooking up uh, water, hot chocolate. There's my five day food supply, which I haven't really whittled down at all in four days. Tent set up. Beautiful rock. Christmas Valley here. The sun's setting. Well, local sunset right now. Over there is Big Meadow. We're going to continue down the valley tomorrow morning and exit. Al from Camp 4 out. Oh yeah, and I can't eat a thing. Man, I'm going to try to eat a dinner, but I just don't feel like it at all. I'm going to try to force myself though. Hello. Just got down to the trailhead after the fourth night. I'm a bit of a mess. My stomach's killing me. I'm cold. Uh, can't eat. Good and eat this morning. Completely weak. Still got two miles to get to uh, Highway 89 where I can hitchhike down to Myers or out down to lower elevation. But I am well thrashed. Cool. I'll out.